If you've ever been to one of my parenting workshops, you know that something I always suggest to parents is to stay one step ahead of your kids. A lot of times as parents, we know what our kids are going to do before they even do it. And rather than trust our guts and do something about that, we kind of just um, feel the anxiety and then wait around to see what's gonna happen. But I wanna advise you against that. Use that as a learning opportunity, that feeling that you get in the pit of your stomach when you feel something big is about to happen. So for example, my son Cash this morning walked into the kitchen and he saw the last pancake that I had laid out for them and he said mama I want more and he grabbed the last pancake and I um, in my head I was thinking okay Cannon's gonna want a piece of that you know and I instead of um, ignoring that gut instinct um, and knowing there was gonna be a, a fight you know that was gonna go down um, I thought okay this is a good learning opportunity so I bent down to him and I looked in his eyes and I smiled and I said cash that's the last pancake um, Cannon is probably gonna want some of that. I said, are you willing to share? And he said, no. And I'm not the kind of person that forces a child to share. I think it's really unnatural. I mean, he's the one that found it. It's the last one, he should get it. Um, but I did bring that up to him and, and said, are you willing to share? He said, no. Um, and so I said, well, um, if Cannon sees it, he's probably gonna want it and he'll fight you for it. So perhaps you should eat in the kitchen instead of the living room, um, unless you're willing to share. And I could tell he was kind of processing it. He's in his head thinking, okay, I can eat in the kitchen and have the whole thing, or I could eat in the living room and finish my cartoon, you know, and he's processing it. And I watched him. I wanted to trust him to make the correct decision. So he walked out into the living room and he said, here, go Bubba. And he pulled off a piece of his pancake and he gave it to his brother. Now it wasn't a, an equal split, of course, because he's two. It was just a little piece off the top, but it was just enough to appease his brother. And he got to eat the rest of the pancake and watch his show. And there was no fight. Trust your kids to do what's right. If you are raising them correctly, then most of the time they will. Kids are natural people pleasers. They are not drama seekers for the most part. They're not seeking a conflict. They'd like to avoid conflict just as the, you know, the much um, <clears throat> as the rest of us, but um, try to stay one step ahead of them and um, trust that they can make the right decision. Always use empathy and love and positivity when working with young kids. You can learn more on my YouTube channel under Whole Heart or follow me on thatgirlwithwholeheart.com.